Um, come on. Oh, looking forward to it. Thank goodness Roger isn't here. He'd be doing gangnam style again, wouldn't he? No, he is instead at the Palm House in Liverpool. Let's go back to Roger now, who's at our Children in Need party with Pudsey Bear. Thank you very much indeed. Get used to those fantastic pictures. You're going to see a lot of them during the course of the evening. And we are in a truly stunning location for this year's Children in Need party here in the Northwest. We're in the Palm House, a great one listed building in the middle of Sefton Park. It is, if you take a look from the outside, an absolutely spectacular building. It's uh, reopened in 2001 after a really long campaign to bring it back to uh, its best. But if you have a look at what it looked like before, it was not in the best of health. 1898 it opened. It took an awful lot of fundraising and hard work to renovate it and get it back to its best. 3,700 panes of glass, no less. And that magnificent staircase, which is still in place, which I was on a moment ago. And I'm now down on terra firma to talk to Jane Baxter and to Susan Tresser. That Jane, you were the one who got this whole ball rolling to get it back to its best. How tough was that? It was extremely tough because when we started the campaign, and I must say there are a lot of other very clever people involved in the campaign, um, the building was totally derelict and rusting and there was no money available at the time to restore it. So on that basis we made a start. We got a tremendous flurry of support from people all over the place and they sort of contributed in many ways. Well, it, is, it is truly spectacular, more than 200 rare and in one case an extinct plant in the wild here. Susan, so how do you keep this place going? Because people can come in, people of Liverpool, people from anywhere can come in yeah. for free. Yes, they can come in for free and they can see all our free events. It's part of the brief that we were given at the beginning when it started off again. And so I'm with the volunteers now, and we keep the show on the road by doing things like um, greeting people, making them feel at home, showing them to seats, doing flowers for them, um, mending the benches, all that sort of thing. Going down the office, and I tell you what, if you've got 10 people or more that are friends of yours, two of us will do you a lovely guided tour with homemade cake afterwards. Ah, okay, you sold it to me right in the last sentence. <laughs> Thank you both very much indeed, Susan Jane. It's lovely to see you. Thank you very much for hosting us this evening. We're really, really honoured to be here. Now, um, we're going to look at, during the course of the remainder of the programme at some of the wonderful work you've been doing today to raise money for children in need. But it's all about where the money goes, and every pound, of, every penny of every pound that, that you give goes directly to help causes right here in the northwest. Like, for example, Site Advice South Lakes. It's a, an organisation which helps people in rural areas who might otherwise feel even more isolated. This very special report for us is 